And the All answer right. is no, son. I was uh, doing research for my Saturday Night Live podcast. Okie dokie. Oh. Cool. Thank well, you. time to do a um, D&D podcast. Oi, hello, everybody. Um, I am Snow, the Dungeon Master. And um, and it appears that Tylenol is currently doing a, uh, a Minecraft stream. Hopefully he can pay attention, but I don't think he yeah. will. But um, but I'm no one to judge because I am autistic, kind of maybe. I don't know. ADHD might be a better descriptor. How about? Yeah, that probably would be um, more fitting in this situation. We're all kind of ADHD attention deficit. It's a thing. Oh. Well, not me. I'm laser focused on things. Well, ADHD but people James can be laser focused. The time. They're just difficult. At, it's just difficult for them to multitask. They can't. Yeah. They can't choose what they're focused on. All right. Entirely. True. I won't be able to be on for too long because I got to get up at five tomorrow. Okay. So. Is it um not too long? How? What time do you plan on um going to bed? I'd say 11 at the latest. So I'd, I'm I'm saying an hour, we have a good hour 10 for the session and then, well, let's, you know. Let's get started then. Sounds like a plan then. Dad, you weren't, okay, do, do you remember what was happening in the previous episode? Ew. I found a sniffer egg. I do. Dad. I... Yeah, we were uh, being... Uh, I had no idea who you were talking to. I'm talking to Dad. <laughs> okay. Well, now I know. Why? why what? <laughs> do I remember? Yes. Do you? Yes. No, not really. Okay. You're, You're about, about to get to the the by a white dragon. dragon. Yes. Based if on. I remember correctly. Yeah. Based, much, based on Tars's description, got, a dragon was about to drag D's nuts on everybody's faces. That is to say, well, he also. Yeah. That is to say, I think everybody's in agreement. You're about to get fucked. Uh, he also got shot twice, maybe, if I recall. That's correct. Yeah, didn't the wizard get shot? Yeah. The... Yeah. All right, so you've gotten shot already, and there's a dragon. Yes, if I'm gonna get fucked by a dragon, that there's worse ways to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like being shot by bandits. Alrighty. Well, well, I'm a fan of dragons, so it is what it is. Okay, so basically, um, what happened was you guys were surfing, was were like um, canoeing down a ravine, and uh, well, probably not a canoe. It was a small boat. You, you guys were um, we were trying to make our escape by water. Yeah, you were rowing down a down a ravine, and then a bunch of um, and then a bunch of thieves showed up. And started shooting Vicaroos. And then... Bullshit. Yes, that it was definitely bullshit. And then, well, hijinks ensued, and it turns out it was Sylvie all along. And, uh... And then Dragon shows up. Mr. Dragon-chan. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, where is the egg right now? Oh, um, uh, I think last I checked, um, I think it Tylenol was, has it. Yeah, it's either Tylenol or I, I, um, or the other. I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure I. Didn't his cat sure die? Or is cat still alive? The cat did That's not. Didn't alive. something happen? All right, it seems to me something happened to his cat. Yeah, I think yeah, he I ate threw it. it at the enemy. He's yeah, like, it. Yeah, if it died, it's it's because of Vicaru, <laughs> not Vicaru's Tylenol. But anyways, though, we left off in the. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, um, yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay, so we left off in the last episode okay, with a you. with a dragon, essentially, um, coming out from under the ground. So let's right, continue. Order, so let's continue from there. I think our 
Huh? Your initiative order is still the same as it was last time. We just need to add a dragon in it now. Um. That oh, reminds me, I should probably grab my dice. But, um. Well, not necessarily. Because. Actually, yeah, probably. Okay, yeah. Forget what I just said. Even, even yes. if the guys are. Even if the guys are fighting with us, they'd still be in the same initiative order. Right. Well, continuing from from there anyways, though. The white dragon that was sleeping in the cave... Why is it going to be white? Because that's the color of its scales. Also, mm -hmm. dragon, dragon colors are kind of important to their abilities. They are. Mm -hmm. Um... If I recall correctly, white dragons are electric, aren't they? No, cold, and they can also apparently burrow. Um. So. Excuse so why this one was underground. So the dragon comes up from from out of the ground. Um. Sylvie, now kind of. Now kind of acknowledging the fact that, like, uh, he can't keep talking down to Vicaruz, who is about 60 feet away from him, uh, looks behind him in utter horror. I don't think you guys can see his face right now, but, um, but, uh, I'll tell you, as, as players, he's horrified. <laughs> and so are all of the other thieves that are around him. Um, this is a white dragon, an adult, well, almost an adult white dragon, a sub-adult. And it is, all right. and it has now begun floating above. So let me, uh, add the dragon to the initiative. Um, how was What's the Uh, it should be the last one we've got in there. Okay. Uh, yeah, we've got Miss Frizzle uh, with a 17, Bruno with a 15, the Arrow Shooters at 11, Vicaroos at 8, Tylenol at 7, and Taurus at 6. Alrighty. Um... One second, I've got a phone call. Bruh. It's all your all right. fault. I really... I really don't, I really don't fancy our chances fighting a dragon, but also I don't see how we can outrun it either. Okay, so. Let's be so he is last push in. Push Sylvie to the wall. So add the dragon in the um, in the initiative column at the right under Taurus. All right. The dragon. Yeah. Alright, okay. Just make sure I heard you. I wasn't. I see that. Um, whose turn oh, is it? Okay. Dragging, dragon deep down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Matt, what? so whose turn is it? Um, well. Nobody's turn at the moment. Combat has um temporarily like uh went into a hiatus kind of. Um so basically back. Oh, hi dad. So the dragon um in the air looks down at everybody and before and before any turns can presume they proceed to do a, uh, what's it called? A frightening presence. Each creature of the dragon's choice oh that is within 120 feet of the dragon and aware of it must succeed a DC, let's see, a DC, uh, I, I can't tell you that, a, uh, a wisdom saving throw or become frightened for one minute. So everybody make a uh, make a wisdom saving throw. All right. Um, D20. Can Bruno roll for me while I That's probably look for my I dice? Can, can, All right. Roll a dice for him. All right, I'm going to roll my 
And you said it's wisdom? Yes. I'll roll for uh All right, for I'm gonna roll for myself. I'll roll for myself first. What is that? D twenty? Right. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a D twenty saving throw. All right, counting my modifiers, I got a twenty one. Okay, that's a success. Now let me roll Taurus. Now let me roll Taurus. Okay. What's Taurus's modifiers? Uh, let me check. Okay, um, Myrtle failed. I think I tried to... Yeah. Who failed? Myrtle. I rolled for Myrtle. Oh, lovely. Where the frick are my dice? Ah! Uh, um, okay. So, Taurus has this a plus a zero in wisdom. Right. And does not have proficiency with saving throws in wisdom. Alright, in which case, he rolled a 19 then. Alright, that's a oh, success. Oh, let's go. I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, Tylenol and... We're lucky you rolled high. Okay. Tylenol and Vicaroos. What are... You need to roll your d20s for saving throws. I rolled a 19 and my wisdom is plus 2. Okay, that's a success. Tylenol. 21 gang. Hmm. Make a d20. Make a wisdom saving throw. Okay, it lands on a 19. Okay, that's... We are cooking today for some reason. <laughs> that's, that's a success. I'm really concerned. I'm really concerned. Uh-oh. No one say anything about rolling. If you get what I mean. Don't want to jinx or sell. Bloody hell. Um, uh, how do how cars go forward? <laughs> okay, um, Myrtle, not Myr Myrtle, but, uh, Sylvie also got a, um, a, a 21. <laughs> and then all of the other, uh, and then all of the other... Um, thieves fail the shooters. Um, yeah, the shoot the other, but the other two shooters fail the saving throw. Oh yeah. Also, um, I, I, I think we could assume that um, good old Desmond succeeds if uh, Tylenol succeeds. And also, the spiders don't really care. Is that the spiders that, don't even know what it is. The cat, yes. Okay. The dragon is currently airborne, yes? Yes. yes. We need to find a way to get those spiders onto the dragon. It's our only chance of survival. <laughs> okay. Um, so before we do anything, though, Taurus and uh, Tylenol, I believe, you both have gained a level. Hey, you, you guys went level up a up. level. Oh uh, so, yeah. So now, so now you guys are both um the same level as uh as the other three. Myrtle, Bruno, and Vicaroos. Um, so let's review your guys's you know buffs. I don't think it'll um. I don't believe that, uh... This is Tylenol. What? What? This is where, uh, uh Taurus is gonna get his subclass. Correct. Um, first things first, I'd like to see if, um... If the Druid gets anything for third level. I don't think she does. Are you talking about me? Yes, both you and Taurus gain a level. How? Oh, I didn't level up just to be called the Druid. You're a moon druid. Right, 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 right. Okay, so... Well, I'm help. Yeah, shut forever. Sorry. Alright, let me... Let me look at it. Okay, so... 
Starting with uh, Tylenol, since um, since Tara seems to be in the middle of something. Um, okay, Tylenol, you do not gain any features at third level, but you do gain a uh, first level spell slot and a uh, and two second level spell slots, as well as the fact I'm pretty sure you should be able to um, to prepare more spells when you get a. Uh, when you do your next long rest. Assuming you survive this day. Lol. Now, as for you, Taurus, though, um, you get to choose a subclass. Okay, so, you get to choose a martial archetype, or the fighter's subclass. Different fighters choose different approaches to perfecting their fighting prowess. The martial archetype you choose to emulate reflect, reflects your approach. You could either become a champion, which I believe um, gives you like more amplified critical hits and more like um, more versatile fighting styles. Um, as well as when you reach 18th level, apparently another uh, self-healing ability. You could choose to be a battle master, which uses special maneuvers, which improves athletic prowess. And lastly, you could choose to be an eldritch knight, which essentially allows you to do Just some more magic. Yeah, you you become. You, However. As I recall, the spellcasting attribute for Eldritch Knights is intelligence. What's this intelligence modifier? Good question. Um, Taurus has 12 intelligence. Yeah, I'd be plus decently intelligent. Yeah. That's, that's a plus one. Which is decent for, like, just a side stat, but I don't know if it's good enough to be a spellcasting casting. Well, it's his best. It's his best mental ability, anyway. Um, either way, though, spellcasting is more like a secondary aspect of an eldritch knight. They also get some other wacky stuff, like being able to um, being able to bond with a weapon. He could probably do that with that uh, with that trident. Um, and he gets. Correctly, don't bound weapons return to you after you throw them. Yes. Which skill is that again? Is that's, that the, the Eldritch Knight? Eldritch Knight. Eldritch Knight thing. Okay. Uh, what else do I got, Coach? Okay, that those are the three options. You can be a champion, which um, focuses on like versatility and critical hits. Uh, battle master, Not which me. focuses on maneuvers, and a thing called superiority dice. Basically, um, like a uh, a more like more wisening you to your um, to your opponent, um, uh, and lastly an eldritch knight, which gives you like spell casting as a secondary aspect, but also allows you like bond with a weapon and do some other wacky stuff like right. war magic. Um, eldritch knight. How many weapons can I bond to? Is it just one, or um, am I able to bond? I believe you're able. I believe you're able to do two. So, um, the weapon must be within your reach during the ritual, at the conclusion of which you touch the weapon and force the bond. Once you have bonded a weapon to yourself, you can't be disarmed of that weapon unless you are incapacitated. If it is this, on the same plane of existence, you can summon this weapon as a bonus action on your turn, causing it to teleport instantly to your hand. You can have up to two bonded weapons, but can summon only one at a time with your bonus action. So you can have two. All right. Um, so I have the trident, right? Um, I believe so. Yes. I thought I did. Um, do I have any stats on that? Um, it's just a regular trident. It's just a regular trident, but it's a trident of fish command, so you can like do some wacky stuff with that. <laughs> uh, can you give me more details on the fish command, guys? That might have just given me an idea. Um, well, I guess this m more or less depends on your uh, on your recall, but I do know that Vicaru's um, 
that Vikaru's casted Identify, so you should know this anyways. Uh, as in your character, you, you probably don't, you as a person, as a player, probably don't remember. Let me check, though. Trident of Fish Command. Um, T-U-V-W, okay. Uh, the, this trident is a magical weapon. It has three charges. While you carry it, you can use a bonus action and expend one charge to cast Dominate Beast. And from it. And on a beast that has an innate swimming speed. The trident regra regains 1d3 expended charges daily at dawn. However, you require attunement. You need, you need to attune to this weapon, which means that you have to, like, um... Mentally focus and practice with it right. over the course right of now. Yeah, you can use the trident right. as a trident, like as in like you can attack with the trident, but you cannot use its fish command. But I can't use it, it that way yet. Yeah, you can use right. it as a regular trident, but you're not able to like uh, use its magical aspects until you attune to it. So. Eventually, will I be able to get, like, a better weapon or something? Undoubtedly. Or... Likely. Am I just stuck with the weapon I have? So, what my question is, uh, do certain weapons is, do different damage? Hey, Sadrin, what's the time limit on the, on the Eldritch Knight, uh, on weapon? Um, okay. Um... Okay, you can, if you attempt to bond with a third weapon, you can... Okay, I don't think there is a time limit. You just need to, um, but you but you can auto, automatically, like, break a bond with with one of the weapons. Um, however, the ritual to bond with a weapon needs to be, like, within the course of, like, a long rest, maybe, or just, you know... It needs to last at least one hour of you not really doing anything. <laughs> so he can't pack. He can't bind a weapon right now. No, I mean yes, but he would probably die because of the situation. So if, if I bonded to a weapon, I would possibly die. It, it, right this now, is, this is a yeah, com just... yeah. This is a combat situation. So you just sitting there, um, you'd probably be a sitting sitting. Get killed by the dragon. Yeah, you'd be yeah, you killed by the dragon. Said, killed by the thieves. A... Yeah. Yeah, you said he needs an hour, right? It, yes. So that means you just need to hold off the dragon for six hundred turns to let him attune to it. To, to let him bind turns. Him. Sure. Yeah, just six turns. Is that all? We got this. Right. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm guessing you know I want to go with the third class that you mentioned, the Eldridge, Eldridge Knight. Eldridge. All right. Eldridge Knight. Cool. Like cool. Like... So I like the sound of that. All right. So once you do your next long yeah. rest, you yes. can both like um, bond with a weapon, but also um. Uh, before you, um, but also you will have to, um, actually you don't prepare spells, you automatically know, th know them. So you get to know three spells and two cantrips. We're not going to do that right now, though. We're going to do that during your next long rest. Um. Sounds good. It would be pretty dramatic, though, for him to suddenly start breaking out spells as a result of a dragon attack. Um, maybe. But we are on a timetable time here, so even though all in all it would be very beneficial to you guys, I don't know, maybe we'll focus more on the moment than in, than anything else. But, if we're, but we're on a bit of a timetable with Taurus. Um, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> Anyways, though, uh, let's see. I don't know. You you would you could theoretically just um give give uh Isaac your my uh player's handbook and show him where the uh where the spells are and just like hey you can just look through this section cuz it cuz the Eldritch Knight's um mat 
uh, spells are spell list is basically the wizard spell list. So you just need to show him like their available cantrips and spells. That's alright. Alrighty. Alright. So, alright. Sorry, sorry for the wait. I just realized that um, two people just gained a gained a couple levels. Um, but we shall move on. Um, so based on it. So okay, the two the two thieves, not Sylvie, but the two thieves that were with him. Um. Are, effect, are basically frightened of the dragon. And Myrtle is also kind of pissing his pants a little bit. Alright. So, now we can begin. Now we can continue with the turn order. So... Starting off with Miss Frizzle over here. Um, what what happens to him when he's frightened? She okay. melts everyone. A, key, a creature can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turns, <laughs> ending the effect on itself on a success. If a creature's saving throw is successful, or the effect ends for it, the creature is immune to the dra dragon's frightful presence for the next twenty-four hours. Cool. Okay, so that basically means that you guys are incapable of um, being frightened by this dragon for the next 24 hours. <laughs> cool. um, so as for good old Miss Frizzle, um, he runs up to Bruno and um, and proceed proceeds to dash and um, and kind of like a uh, grabs grabs Bruno on the way and like um and starts essentially running in the opposite direction and when he gets to the uh to the edge of the ravine he basically runs um runs to the left with um with Bruno in hand so he runs pretty fast anyways though now it is Bruno's turn I can I make to, I make a saving throw to resist being dragged. Um, sure. I don't know. I'd... What would that be? Would that be strength? Yes. All right. Strength or athletics? Just regular strength. <laughs> Nineteen county modifiers. All right, so you break free of him, and he, and um, Myrtle just continues running as he usually does. All right, Bruno, your turn. All right. All right. Let me look at my spells. What do I have in terms of firepower? A surprising amount, actually. The dragon is airborne right now, yes? Yes. Alright, so that means we need ranged attacks in order to hit it. Oh dear. Alright, Master. Yeah? I have a question. What is your question? What are we going... What do we all got? What information do we have on the dragon other than it's white and it's flying? Um, it'll probably kill us. Well, it's much bigger than all of you. Um, but like, I'm sure all of you, all of your characters have probably seen a dragon before. Maybe in a book, probably not in person. But, um... Uh, but who like, all is within range 30 of me? Um, well, definitely not Myrtle. Um, 
I'm pretty sure at this point just Sylvie and um and the two the two thieves. Also Desmond. Um Cat? Yes. I'm fairly certain that um Taurus is probably within thirty feet, but there's a lot of um there's a lot of ground between you and him because he's diagonally downward. Um, so he's within thirty feet. Yes, he's within thirty feet, but there's a lot of All right. there's a lot of material between you and him. That is what matters because I do not require um, line of sight for this spell. Okay. I just require range. Um, so this is one action. I'm going to cast cast bless at first level. Um, that's enough to target three creatures of my choice within range. I'm going to target myself, Sylvie, and Taurus. Okay. Um, whenever a target makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends. Uh, I'm sorry, you're fully, affecting Sylvie? Target. I can, yeah. Okay. Is he fighting with us or not? He's, he's, he's made he's fighting with us. He's, you can, you he's can made assume. No, he's, that's right. He's made no commitment, but... Well... Alright. Alright, I'll cast a spell and shout, Fight with us or we're all dead. Um... So yeah, I'm gonna cast a spell on him, cast a spell on myself, cast a spell on cast a spell on Taurus. Uh basically add D four to an attack roll or a saving throw saving throw within ten turns, because this lasts for ten turns. Alrighty. Cool. So basically for about So basically for action. six minutes. For six minutes, I think. No wait, one minute. Uh, no, one minute. Okay, yeah. turns. Um, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, you need to sprinkle is a there holy a way water. For me to, like, which I'm assuming you probably have, yep. like, on you at all times. Yeah, pretty much. Um, is there a way I, is there a way I can use my bonus action to like prepare or guard? Um. I don't think so. Um, hmm. No, I don't think so. Because cause you're using your know. action. I don't think you have any uh, abilities that provoke a uh, bonus action from yeah. you. Well, I would have, a, would have a bonus action, but I don't think there's anything that can take thing something. At least anything worth doing. Uh, in which case, I'm going to run over Mir Sylvie. Uh, of course, going to expand on my earlier statement. Uh, we can finish this fight later. For now, if, we, if we're too busy fighting each other, this dragon's going to kill us all. He and looks... I've already cast Bless on him by this point, so... Yeah. What did Ethan cast? He looks... Bless. I, I can hear. Okay. He looks at you, um... And says... Don't get over your head. My vi my vendetta is not with you. My vendetta is with the... Is with the half-elf. I don't... What? I don't give two shits about your... About your bloodline. Is that the dragon talking? No, this is Sylvie. That's, that's him. It's Sylvie. So he's talking about... I don't know what he's talking about with bloodline, but... He's talking about uh, Vickery's, right? Well, I'm assuming he doesn't want to die to a dragon, so that's, that's good for me, I guess. It's I have an so idea. 
You can uh, state your idea, right. but just keep in mind that the only people who can hear you in, in, in the immediate vicinity, vicinity, unless, like, you really yell, um, is, um, would be Tylenol. Because she's in the boat. But, like, there's a lot of running water. Okay. So, just keep that in mind. It was right by, um, Bruno. No, you're, if I recall. No, you're, Sylvie you're behind right the, uh, no, you're still in the ravine next to the rock wall. I thought I got over the rock wall and was with Bruno. Well, I did just move, actually, so I moved up next to Sylvie. Okay. Mm. Alright, well, uh, my idea was if we'd be able to turn invisible if someone had an invisibility spell. But I don't know if we do have that. I don't Even think if they I did, do. there's no way. There's no way we've got enough spell slots to cast it on everyone. Yeah. Right. It was just which is, thought. Which is a good question. Do you, does um do you have access to um as a as if a uh, as an elder troop knight? Yeah. Well, well as an elf. I mean, as an elder knight. Let me check. I'll have to uh, check. The wizard spell list. Um, okay. Wizards. Uh, invisibility, I believe, is a first level. Okay, identify now. Okay, and then it's probably maybe a second level spell? Question mark? Okay, yeah, it's a second level spell, so you would not be able to do that until maybe your. Um, maybe your eighth level? Maybe. It would take you a bit. It would take you a while because you're third rate. Sp because um, Eldritch Knights are third rate spell casters, unfortunately. Alright. As 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 I've said, like it's a, the spell casting is more of a, um, more of a secondary aspect in comparison to like, whole weapon bond and war magic, aspects of of the um, Eldritch Knight. Yeah. Well, I was just curious, because I didn't know if Vic Ruz had any. But Vic Ruz would not be close enough to cast it all on us, and we don't have enough spell slots, so. Yeah. Um, anyways, good news. Uh, myself, you, and Sylvie, uh, you being Taurus, of course, have Bless now, which means that any attack roll or saving throw you make, you add 1d4 to. Alright. Which... It's not much against a dragon, but we need every advantage we can get. Yes. So what are so options that, that, that ends, that ends my turn? Okay. Uh, I need to analyze the situation. Is, okay. Um. Next is the arrow shooters, who okay. are currently frightened. Um. Yeah, so yeah, I do. I do seem to remember. Um. Yeah, you probably did climb up the rock wall in the previous episode maybe because i don't know I'll give i you remember the the i will I know, i'll give you the benefit of the i dog remember dog. i was with yeah and i was behind the wall and i could not get shot because i i do remember honestly remember uh you saying that i could not get shot because i asked Okay, so pretty darn sure. Anyways, though, um, so you see that the the dragon is floating, probably about one of its own lengths above the ground. Currently, it hasn't really gotten enough time to move because it ha its turn hasn't shown up yet. Um, but as for, but like um, every, everybody else is more like in a pile aside from Ty, aside from Tylenol. Vicaroos and um, and Myrtle, who are kind of scattered in their own ways. Um, Tylenol's on the boat, and Vicaroos is on the other side of the ravine. Um, All right. But anyways, I believe, um, unless, I believe it is the next person's turn, and that next person. Uh, that would be the arrow shooters. Okay. Last I checked. 
All right, so um, so they both essentially run in the um, opposite direction of the dragon, um, in the to the right instead of to the left. So basically, in the opposite direction that Myrtle ran, since they're both frightened. Um, now it is uh, Vicaruz's turn. Vicaruz, there's a All giant right. dragon over there. Like, way, way over there, like, about about 80 or 90 feet away. In spell range. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, that should be within spell range. A lot of your stuff is, like, 120 feet. Yeah, I believe, yeah, I believe my firebolt is that, that far. Um, so probably, yeah, we'll just, oh shit, a dragon's probably, what kind of dragon is this? Is it's it... a white dragon, it's a sub which means it's, it's a ice, if I recall. Yeah, it's a sub-adult. Um, white, white, so white ice dragon. I don't ice know dragon. what that means. It means it's, it's a huge dragon. It's a Meets is an adult, it's a but not a white adult. White. I think no, he's I'm asking, asking not what quite I'm asking if fire. If, I'm asking if firebolt's going to work against a dragon. What kind of dragon is it? Will firebolt do it's, any damage on it? It's a white it's dragon, dragon, so its affinity would be ice. So fire should work well against it. Theoretically, yeah. Based on Vicaru's drunken logic, um, fire do good against ice. You could probably make that assumption. My drunken logic? Your drunken logic. I feel like that fire melts ice. That's that's like science uh, logic. Damn it. Well, this isn't. Well, this also isn't Pokemon. So that. So it's very likely that. Um, I'm no. talking about real life. Okay. Take some ice and do, and do whatever take some, it is. Uh, fire. I'll do whatever what it happens. is you think. Do whatever it is you think. I it cast should, firebolt. All right, you cast firebolt. Is that a saving throw or a, I think that's a save? I think that's an attack roll on that's your part. Spell attack. That, that's yeah. a spell attack roll. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Yes. So roll a twenty. Yep. I rolled a 10. Uh, 10 plus, I believe, your intelligence and your proficiency bonus. Um, yeah, my spell save DC or spell attack bonus is plus 5. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. So plus 5, which means yeah. 15. And um, Correct. that is a fail. Bullshit. It is a dragon. It's probably got a monstrously high AC. Bullshit. I'm raging here. Hoping and seething. Molding. Okay. Alright, so next person's oh, turn. 15. 15. It's... Who's that person's turn? Um, it's not mine. Check, check the roll initiative. Yeah, I'm. I'm currently calculating something. Can somebody else do a thing? Tylenol is after Vicaroos. Okay, so Tylenol Hello. is your turn. Okay. Oh. Uh. Get to speed, please. I hear there's a dragon. Yeah, there's a dragon. Ty, you just Bullshit. saw like, um, you just saw a like, fire bolt um fire above you, and um, and then him screaming bullshit. Loudly, very, very loudly, very loudly. Let's see. So he 
shot the firebolts at the dragon. And then scream full shit very loudly. Indeed. Okay. Can I cast speak with animal on the dragon? I mean, you I can try attacking because we stole his egg. Can the dragon? Can the dragon it's not communicate dragon. already? Jared, it's a dragon. It undoubtedly speaks common. Speaks what? Common, which is basic, like ditch is what language. We speak. I mean English. Oh, okay. Let's see. If it wants to talk, if I know Pokemon type matchups, um, Fairy is strong against Dragon, but also Dragon is strong against Dragon. So the solution, we need another Dragon. Cool. It's helping. Oh, cool. The, the the thing we need most in this fight against Dragon <laughs> probably kill us is another Dragon. That will also probably kill us. Is anybody fr friends with Puff, the magic dragon, that could use his help right now? What if there's, like, a dragon that, like... So this dragon is a female, obviously, because it lays an egg. So we find a male know. dragon, male dragon that has a crush on this dragon. <laughs> <laughs> and saying, That's not going hey, to help us survive this immediate counter. This is a certified Tylenol movement. Obviously, the aggression will be. All right, one of us needs to take the hit. The Who wants to fuck a dragon? I nominate <laughs> myself. Hey, just get it close enough, and I'll give you it. You said a... it was female. Yeah. I'm gonna give it some eggs. Never mind. I withdraw my but... statement. <laughs> statement withdrawn. Uh. <laughs> So we got us a dragon. I said earlier the spiders could fix this problem. We need to get the spiders <laughs> yeah. up on the What are they gonna do? Fucking tickle it? No, they could crawl into its insides and kill it from in there. The spiders are literally our only hope of killing that thing. Crawl into its insides and poison its heart directly. Start chucking some spiders. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's not gonna work. They're what is with you getting animal. pets They're and then just up. throwing them? Man. They'd probably get like two feet in them. He's fall. a petophile. Petophile. <laughs> Damn. It's son of a bitch. Shut up. I think this is more of no. a pedophobia. Actually, zoophobia. Uh, potato. If you're. Because okay. so that's the fear or aversion. You like one of those anime inner head monologues that goes on for like six minutes while in real time, like two seconds have passed. And you're telepathic for some reason, so which let's... is not exactly something I should probably be encouraging. <laughs> well, if there's any girls I want to do them. Well, there's a girl right here. I was hoping my son would get that one. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I literally showed it to you. The, the, the thing. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah. What are you doing, Tylenol? Still, I've heard that before. Okay. <laughs> well, you have a, you it have two wild chains. You can try it. Try and make chill touch work for me, Greg. All right. What's its range? Uh, 120 feet. Okay, cool. So, um, you're definitely within range of the dragon. Um. Okay, cool. Um, make a um, make a spell attack roll. Dukes. <laughs> So, roll. Twelve. Twelve plus four. That's sixteen. Um, that's a miss. Okay. All right. Um, next up is Taurus. Yes, Taurus. All right. 
Um. You are currently glowing with the blessed loveliness. I don't really freaking know what to do. I don't think anybody else does either, ex aside from Vika. Like, I think everybody's just trying to attack this thing and failing. Because <laughs> I don't Myrtle's think there is it. much I can do. Yeah, Myrtle and, and, and we can't really outrun it. So, is it Myrtle. faster than us and it can fly? Yeah, Myrtle and the uh, and the two bowyers are currently running in opposite directions. I'm about to donkey from Shrek this thing. Why don't we? Why doesn't the dragon just chase them? Oh wait, we have the egg. Uh, we don't. <laughs> well, it doesn't know that. It doesn't know who has the egg, unless it has some sort of sense. Does Victoroos have a teleportation of object power? Um, uh, has Misty, I step. Misty Step. I don't think that does. I don't think that does objects though, does it? It doesn't um, do objects. It does people? Yeah. I can teleport myself. That's pretty much. I mean, all I, I could think chop the egg, but we kind of need the egg. Eleanor has the egg. You probably have the egg. Never mind. Um, who is the dragon currently looking at? Um, it's kind of just looking, uh, looking downwards. It hasn't really gotten enough time to really look at anything. It's not looking at anything in particular. Right. It's kind of just, yeah. It's w waiting on you, Taurus. It's waiting on you to come. Come on, do something. Do something, you son of a bitch. <laughs> There's not much I can do. I don't have any ranged attacks. I just have a sword and a trident. You have weapons. You can throw them. I need to bond with those weapons, though. I need. No, you back. don't. You don't need to bond with a weapon. You're it's a dragon. dragon. What do you What's want the back? The weapon or your life? Let me tell you. Only. You're not getting either of those back if you lose them. All right. Backpack me. What all do I have? You have a long sword. Uh, you do have and a rusty, you do you have a rusty a sword that you could huck first. Yeah, you have a long sword, a rusty sword, and the uh, and the trident, with funny words. Worst comes to worst, you can always pick the weapons back up. I say I throw the rusty sword at it. All right. Give it tetanus. Uh, roll a d20. Whoever is able to roll for him. You got a d20, Isaac? No, I have no idea where my dice went in that. He's oh, freaking wait. annoying. This is modifiers. Um, well, he's using dexterity since he's throwing Isn't it. it? Um, Pretty good dexterity, I think. What's the plus? I'm, I'm checking. Uh, plus two. Never mind. Fourteen. Alright, so sixteen then, which is a miss. Oh no. no. It was a fourteen counting modifiers. It was a twelve, is what I rolled. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay, so. well, either way is a miss. Um... Completely completely <laughs> All right. Do you wish to move before your turn ends? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Not really much I can do. You can move 30 feet. Or you can end your uh... turn. Am I right by Bruno? <laughs> Mm, you are about 20 feet away. Alright. I guess I'll just move to Bruno. 
That is so funny. Look at the memes. <laughs> Boy. I just, I, I'm catching up on the memes board because I haven't. I'm just looking up at a seed with dragon. <laughs> 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 All right, um, so now it's the dragon's turn, um, and the dragon is so now. What were you at, Ethan? <laughs> yeah, the us seeing the dragon, right? Yeah, the, it's the dragon's turn now. <laughs> I don't want it to be the dragon's <laughs> turn. Uh, this does not sound fun for us. Okay, so the dragon um, flies over. So the dragon flies overhead, um, and then goes right above, um, Tylenol's boat. And then it aims its mouth down, and, uh, fires off an ice breath. Okay. Um, the water now begins to freeze as the, um, as the, uh, the cold air... Um, reaches Tylenol. Tylenol, make a, um, a constitution saving throw. Two. Make a constitution saving, th <laughs> saving throw. I said... You're, you are being blasted with, with cold stuff. He said two. You rolled two. Any yeah, modifiers? So I, rolled, I rolled two. I, I don't know if it was supposed to be a d20 or not, but... Oh. That was is, a d20. Is it a, yeah, it's a d20. So, five. Whew. Okay. Yep. Um, so, that means... Ooh. Oh, that's bad. Um, I think. Okay. Wait, that's a d20. I didn't, didn't mean to roll a d20 in there. Oh. Um. So keep in mind, Tylenol, your uh, threshold is 36. So if you take more than that, if you take 36 or more damage, you are dead instantly. I don't like the sound of where this is going. Yeah, I don't, I don't like you have to tell us that. It's not fun. Um, okay, so let me do the math here. Uh-uh. Okay, so 12 plus 1 plus 6 plus 9 plus... Now that the boat's frozen, we can't escape by water. Awesome. Plus four. I just got an idea. Is it drop the egg and run? No. I mean, Tylenol has the egg. So we could get away. Fair point. Once Tylenol is inevitably killed by this, the dragon will probably take the egg and fuck off, hopefully. I mean, we don't want yeah, Tylenol to die. Well, I'm, I'm currently rolling the dice right now. Literally. Hang on. Okay. So cool. we've... Some of you may die, but it is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Are <laughs> <laughs> okay. you trying to find my... Me looking at my options to get out of this? <laughs> okay, so 8 plus 8 plus 6 plus 6 plus 7. I just found the weirdest thing ever. So I'm going to put it in the memes board. Oh. Oh, that's bad. Is it? Um, okay. So, I get, um, 
Delete that immediately, Isaac. That's delete not... It. Delete it. Okay, delete that's... It. Uh... Delete the message. Fine. Yeah, that's, um... I can delete it. That's pushing that's it. Not... Okay, so... Tylenol, you take 35 damage. Just barely enough to not die. Wait, how did I take 35 damage? You got blasted got with some blasted cool by a dragon's breath weapon. <laughs> the only reason it didn't kill you is because it didn't hit you directly. It was directly aiming for the water, so you took less damage. So, um, so you got hit with 35... Is that an AKA... Is that an AKA I use DM powers to make you not die? Yeah, um, you could say something like that. Um, because I don't want to be a dick. But, I mean, it is a dragon. So I'm j so... And it's, uh, it's aiming for the water. So, you got, um, you got blasted unintentionally. So, um, so Tyler... That's wait. That's Taurus. As we're watching, I'm streaming right now. See, like accurate representation of the dragon in like ten minutes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, so Tylenol, you are at um zero. You are at zero hit points and are and is currently dying. And are currently rolling death saves. Yeah. Yes. You're also frozen solid. Um, so you're probably going to need somebody to blow a hair dryer in your direction. Size. What's the range on Spare the Dummy? <laughs> I think that's a, I'm looking I think that's up. touch. I don't know. But anyways, the um then the dragon proceeds to um start flying. It is touch. Um starts flying towards the um the two thieves um okay i say we run or save tylenol okay next um okay now we've got round 2 here next up is Whoever's turn is next. Um, Miss uh, Frizzle. That would be, that would that would be, be Myrtle. Our, that would be our good friend, Miss Frizzle, who yeah. has to make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. Okay, so he... So he continues, um... So, um... He breaks out of his fear as soon as he sees, um... As soon as he sees Tylenol getting frozen solid, and he immediately dashes towards her. Simp. Okay. So, um... So next up... Next up is, um... Is Bruno's turn. Uh, you do, you do not see, um, what happen to uh to Tylenol. Happened you basically to Tylenol, yeah, I figured. Yeah, you're you basically saw the dragon blast into the ravine. <laughs> and <laughs> and I did uh, however Tylenol I did kind however, of screaming. I did however see uh I did however see the dragon, you know running absolutely tank anything we threw at it. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Alright. Here's my next option. <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Question, is there any mud nearby? Is there any mud? Yeah, like mud. You know, muck. Or feces. Feces works as well. No, there is no mud. 
Although there is dirt. A lot of dirt that came out of the hole that um that the dragon just came out of. But no mud. No mud, no um So there's no dragon crap anywhere. No. I really don't see how we can make it out of this one. Well, Ethan, I will show you. Look at the memes board. I don't think that's going to work. All right, we can. Tr I think our best option is. Our best option best seems option to be to fight us. That or give up the egg, but the only one who can give up the egg is Tylenol, and she is currently rolling that saving throws, and I am not aware of it, so I can't go and help her. And I'm. I just got done crawling out of that ravine, honestly, so. I also have six minutes, FYI. Oh, right. All right. Well, damn. <clears throat> Looks like we're going to be on a cliffhanger again. Um. Power throw it. <laughs> this foe is beyond any of us. Run. Okay. All, right, All right, so. so... I, guess I guess I'm going, I'm going to... now to. Well, let's see, which direction is there to run, really? Well, there's the opposite direction of the dragon that's currently flying towards the um. The uh, the two rogues who um, who are ran running in the opposite direction of Myrtle. Are they I say we run in the opposite direction that they're running in. What direction are they running in? They're running are to they the running right. Alongside the fur fur? Okay, they're running, running to, to the, the right. Where? Okay, the the right the right of what? Okay, um, are they running they alongside running the river? Are they, are they running, running up the river? Are they running, running down river? Are they okay. running away from the river? So, where you just came from. Okay, you, if you are f currently facing the ravine, um, the r you came from the left, and you are heading down the right. Um, if you are facing the river, then um, Myrtle ran to the left and is currently coming back, um, and the uh, the two rogues ran to the right, and now the dragon is heading in that direction too. So I say we run in the opposite direction. So the left. Yes. I'm sorry, which way are they running? They're, they're, they're running, running to... right, we need to run left. They're running um, in the direction that you guys were heading before you got attacked. Um, which is the... So the they right went direction. right... If you're facing the ravine, they're running to the right, and um, and so is the dragon. They're running down river then. Yeah, because that's the direction we were heading before the dragon attack. Mm -hmm. So it's a shame because down river we run to, to the left. Whoa. Alrighty then. He's desperate times call for really desperate good. measures. Oh, yeah. oh, I didn't read the caption. I did not read the caption. Alrighty. I did not know I had a caption. Well, anyways. Um, oh, what if I got on the character sheet? Hey. 
there. What the frick? Well, okay, send this to <laughs> Okay, is that is that what you guys are doing? Bruno, are you running? Oh well, yeah, I'm gonna have to run. I'm gonna I, I know I heard Tylenol screaming, so I'll go over to the cliff. And see what what all that's about. All right. Uh, see, obviously, Tylenol encased in ice. Yeah. Um. Myrtle yells. I look um, over and I shout. Okay, so Myrtle yells. Um. I'll take care of Vicarus and um. And Tylenol. You guys, you guys continue running on ahead. I'll okay. hold you to that, I shout back. Um, Taurus, come with me. And I, of course, am going to dash and... Uh, run in the opposite have... direction as fast as I can. You don't have to tell me twice, I say as I outrun Bruno. Well, it's not your turn and he yet, all... but yeah, well, we'll, we'll, we'll assume you're, that's what you're yeah. doing. Anyways, um, now it is the arrow shooter's I'm turn. already 15 paces down. Well, when he says, Taurus, come with me. I'm already 15 paces down. We'll okay. just, you know, say that so, for dramatic um, effect. And okay, so now it's, now it's the arrow shooter's turn. And they, uh, they pissed their pants seeing a, uh, a giant dragon just, like, uh, quickly approaching them from the air. And, um, and they continue just friggin' running. They just continue running in the opposite direction, and the um, and the dragon as soon as, and the dragon as it notices that like under adrenaline these guys are running like run running, um, faster than the uh, than the dragon is flying, the dragon screams and like, rawr, rawr, rawr. <laughs> right. Okay. Now it is uh Vicarus's turn. Um, there's the dragon and the, um, uh, and the two thieves are, um, are slowly exiting your, your line of sight, but like, it's not, they're not out of range. Okay. So they're still in range. Yes, but also Tylenol is dying. So keep that in mind. <laughs> and frankly, you're the best candidate to thaw her out. Oh, Okay. Well, don't flash so freeze. she's frozen. Well, don't flash freeze heat she's wave. That flashed. that could probably just kill her even harder. <laughs> well, what are we gonna do? Go at her with a blow dryer? We don't have blow dryers or ice picks. Oh yeah, that oh, reminds. Oh yeah, that this reminds me. Um, Tylenol, uh, and Taurus, both yeah. of you. Both of you should increase your uh, your hit points after leveling up. Forgot about that. That would probably be important. Be nice to know. Yeah, sorry about that. Very important. <laughs> um, so roll a d8, and you don't have any constitution, so just roll a d8 and add that to your, and I'll add that to your maximum hit points. Um, I'll leave you, um, uh, Ethan, roll a d10 for Taurus. Cool. D10. Let's go, I called it. Uh, that's 10. Oh, cool. So, his hit points increases by 11. So, now his hit points is 29 out of 29. And, uh, Tylenol? Tylenols are zero out of... Okay, so, yeah, zero out of... Yeah, you... Tylenol, roll a d8. 
All right. Eight. Is that what you rolled? No, I can't roll it again. Twenty-two. Huh? What? Tylenol? I said I rolled a two. Okay, so, um... Alright. So that 35 hit points of damage... Okay, yeah, it makes sense. Because now you have 18 maximum hit points. Congratulations, you did not die. <laughs> okay. Oh, death saving. Death saving throws, though, I'm pretty sure. Yes, yes. Um... Now, Vikaruz, what are you doing? Uh, well, if we're worried about me hurting uh, Tylenol with my flames, then uh, suppose we should just attack the dragon. Uh, Myrtle immediately um, I think we should... stares at you and oh, says, that's right. we're do, not running, aren't we? do not provoke yeah, we're it. Now. That's right, I forgot we were running. Um... Then... Oh, well, this will be, be good practice for that campaign that I'm planning to run. You're probably going to be doing a lot of running. Oh. That's comforting. Speaking of, are you joining that game? Who, me? Yeah. Um, when is this happening? So, it okay. Uh, it'll probably this will be happening weeks. on the off chance whenever, um, like, whenever we're going to be doing a campaign, but it but if Taurus is unavailable, doing a session, but like, yeah, basically. Okay, so we're not gonna, so we're not gonna be doing double, trying to do double this. We're just, yeah, it's well, an off campaign. A, for, yeah, and it will not be recorded for everybody else. Yeah, it's not recorded. Maybe. Okay. I might consider. It's it's, it's going to be a big jank either way, so if you don't want to, it's perfectly understandable. Well, I know I didn't want to do, like, two campaigns at once, but if it's... If it's, like... Yeah, I'll try to be available as much as I can. The scheduling's probably going to be the least janky part of it, so... Yeah, it'll it'll be all right. Um, yeah. And, and by the... And, yeah, thank you, um... Thank you, Mr. Willowwood. Still a weird, weird name. Uh, everybody's got weird names here. Especially Tylenol. Uh, yep. But anyways... Um, um, I have a quick question. What? Can we just skip to my turn real quick once Vicarus is... Well, isn't... Okay, uh, we, we know what you're, we know what you're doing. You're, you're running, right? Alright. You're just going to be yeah. running on your turn. Okay. So, yeah. I, I, need, I need to... Ash time. Skedaddle. All right. I hate to hit and run, but no, that's all right. All right. I, I have you're just to get very early. So. All right, that's fine. Well, seems that you're, seems that um you and Bruno have been uh, compromised in terms of what you're doing. So you can do what you need. All right. Thank you. Very right. good session so far. Yeah. Everybody's I dying. Say that one really well. Lovely. Yeah. yeah. And everybody who's not dying is running. Okay. <laughs> running. All right. So are we getting off then? No, we're no, we're gonna be continuing uh, this can, until we, we can... need to. Um, we've only been doing this for like an hour and. Uh, I mean, I mean, eighteen we do minutes. Do know what Taurus is going to be doing for the foreseeable future? Yeah, we know what Taurus is doing. Oh, well. We know what Bruno is doing. So they they are separated from the um from the four of you. Or the three, I think. Uh, you, uh, Tylenol, and and Myrtle. Also, Sylvie, that's on the other end. But, like, um, Sylvie's kind of facing the dragon. He's running towards the dragon. I, or not. No, no, he's facing the dragon. He hasn't moved towards it. So, um, so currently... Okay, so it's still your turn. So what are what are you doing, Vicaruz? Guess I'm running. All right. All 
right? That leaves our humble rogue to pull Tylenol out of the ice. All right. Um, so now it is Tylenol's turn. Tylenol, roll a death saving throw. That is a tw d20. All saving throws are d20s. Uh, death saving throw is 10 plus is success. Okay, 9. That is a failure. Okay, so 5 oh, failures. Wow. So 5 failures means death. It's usually 3, but I've oh, changed it to 5. How okay. many have I gotten so far? Um, well, this is your first failure. How many successes does he need? Uh, same number. Also five? Yes. Oh, wow. Right. Alrighty. You're probably screwed. Alrighty, so now it is Tar Taurus's turn, and he is, um, running 60 feet, uh, in the same direction as Bruno. As for the dragon, um, the dragon continues moving, um, in the direction of the, of the two, and, um, though it doesn't catch up, he d she does, um, fire a, uh, fire the cold breath, which both of them require to make a uh, constitution saving throw. Um, which they both fail. Um, okay. So if I, quick question, if I die, I'm out of the game entirely, right? You would have to roll a new character. That's like if you wanted to continue with the game. We would have to, like, um... Unless we can shell together enough money for a resurrection at a local temple. Um, even if you were to do that, do. um, once a character dies, the... This is my own, like, ruling that I do for, uh, player ah. characters. If a, if a character dies, the person who is, um, playing them no longer, um, gets the rights to that character essentially Ex they they're basically their control basically lands on me kind of maybe yeah anyways um all right roll dice generator because this is like 12 this is like um Actually, 10 D8s that is dealing to these guys. And I'm not rolling that twice. <laughs> I'm not rolling 20 D8s. Or basically 5 D8s four times. <laughs> That's a little excessive. Alright, so one is dealing 56, which knocks one of them out. And then there's 48. Which Okay. Uh yeah, knocks the other one out. So they're both basically also frozen solid and dying. Okay. Uh, that should cycle back around to Miss Frizzle's turn. Yep. Um, so Myrtle, um, hopped right into the, um, uh, hopped right in, which I think would, a uh, would initiate, like, uh, acrobatics, maybe athletics? I think it's athletics. Okay, so he does it successfully. Good going, Myrtle. And then he proceeds to... Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then he proceeds to, um... Attempt to... To char, um... Char Tylenol, um, from the boat. Which he uses, um... Uses tools to do. And what the hell? He succeeds. Okay. 
So he he gets Tylenol out of the ice without hurting her a little bit. Um, and then he proceeds to try lugging her along the uh, along the frozen the frozen ice. Unfortunately, this is difficult terrain, so he's not doing this very very quickly. But he can use the still use the dash action. Okay. As a bonus action. Okay. Now it is the next person's turn. Yay, robes. Yep. Uh, that would be Bruno. Yep. Uh, I'm going to continue running. Okay, so we're just going to assume that you and Taurus are running, and you have disengaged from combat, so you can boop you, you both out of there. Um, now is the arrow shooter's turn, and they both need to make death saving throws. Okay, that's a fail, and that's a success. Good for them. Well, good for one of them. Um, next up is Vicaroos. I'm assuming you are also continuing to run. I would like to use dash and then run. Okay, so you're basically running. Well, that is basically running. Yeah. So I you're... forgot about dash. Yeah. Okay, so you have also disengaged from combat. Um, and then Tylenol, make a death saving throw. All right. Huzzah. 14. Okay, that's a success. And then... And then is the There's dragon. four more of those. Yep. Next up is... Is the dragon. So the dragon, now having frozen her two targets, proceeds to, um... To sit down and, like, uh, inspect her... Inspect these two frozen victims. And then, essentially, just eat one of them. And then she goes on to eat the other. They're both dead. They have died. Okay. Who are these victims? Uh, the, uh, uh two of the rogues. Uh, two of the thieves that ambushed us, the arrow shooters. Yeah. The ones oh, who okay. shot you. Yeah. Yeah, fuck those guys. That's fine. I'm in support of this. Okay. Okay, so now it is um, Myrtle's turn again, and he's just continuing to um, to lug um, Tylenol along through. Um, and he's and he finally gets um, onto one of the sides of the ravine, so he can continue just dashing to his heart's content. Um, Unfortunately, of course, um, Tylenol does slow him down, but not too much. The ice doesn't weigh her, doesn't overweigh her too much, but, you know. Anyways, though, now it is, um, the arrow shooter's turn. Well, not them, because they're dead. But, um, but anyways, now it's Sylvie's turn. And Sylvie, Sylvie looks, looks at everyone, still glowing, and he, and then he spots, uh, Vicaru's running, and he immediately runs, um, runs towards him on the other side of the ravine. Okay, next up, okay, Vicaru's is running... Tylenol. Okay, Tylenol, make another death saving throw. Okay. 14 again. Okay, cool. So, you do succeed that. However, um, this, uh, exposure to the cold, um, you, you gain one level of exhaustion. Okay, 
So, next up... Okie dokie, then. Yep, very sad. Okay. And then Taurus is running, and then the dragon. The dragon proceeds to, um, try, um, to try, uh, looking to see who may or may not have the egg. Um, realizes she's too far away. And then, she, she proceeds to, um, to run, to start flying towards Vicaroos. Mm -hmm. Essentially dashing towards him. Okay. Then, um, Myrtle, seeing the, um, seeing the dragon, um, start to, um, quickly approach Vicaroos, um, starts freaking out a little bit. A little quietly as to not um, alert the dragon to his and Tylenol's location because um sorry sorry father but um I believe in the hierarchy of uh, <laughs> of Myrtle I think you are slightly below um, I, I don't I don't think you barely said a word to each other actually has have Myrtle and Vicaroos even spoken a word to each other I don't I haven't spoken as much I don't think yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I don't know. I, I do know that Vicaroos has not has barely said m many words to um, m most of the other party members either. Anyways, a man of few words. Apparently, so um, well, one of those words apparently is bullshit. <laughs> well, okay. when I. Try to shoot a giant ass fucking dragon and somehow miss. I get frustrated. <laughs> one well, might say it's less, it's of, a less of a miss of and more of bounced off its armor. Mm. Okay. Fine. So Our now class is probably like high teens. Okay. So um, Myrtle continues running. Um. However, the dragon is faster. Uh, Bruno is running. Um, every everybody's essentially running. Uh, Tylenol make another death saving throw. All right. Ten. Okay, that's another success. So that is three successes, one failure so far. Good on you. Dude. Okay. Okay, and then um, Taurus is running, and the dragon, the dragon, is now swiftly approaching you. Um, you be Vicaroos. Um, the dragon oh dear. proceeds to um to land right in front of um in front of Vicaroos. Uh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> one second. Let me say this one more time. Fuck. Is that an exclamation of uh, despair, uh, despair or a proposal? Take your pick. Okay. Um. Now it's Miss Frizzle's turn. Um. And uh. And he proceeds to um set. He proceeds to set um, Tylenol down next to the uh, next to the rocks, and um, he's trying to like uh, blow on her, saying like, "Please, please wake up! Don't die! We we kind of we need we need you to the, I don't know help us run run now. I'm sorry for the constant flirting. I will never do it again. Just don't die." Okay, um, so Tylenol begins to thaw out, and, um, based on the care, um, you're no longer, um, you're no longer dying, so you are now stable. However, you still have a point of exhaustion. Um. And are on zero hit points. Well, 
Yeah, you have you have zero yeah. hit points. And is and you are unconscious. Okay. Um Next up is um Okay, next up we've got um We've got uh Sylvie. Now Sylvie has caught up to Vicaroos and and says Where do you think you're going? You bastard. <laughs> um and he sees uh, the dragon landing in front of him, and he says, "No, he's my prey." And then he and he fires at the dragon. Um. Okay. So that's a hit. I believe a longbow is a D six, right? What is? A longbow. Longbow's a D6, right? Uh, I don't know. Alright, I'm checking. Okay, uh... Okay, it's a D8. Okay. So it's a hit, and that's a... Okay, so he, so Sylvie inflicts, let's see, oh, okay, nine, deals 15 damage, piercing damage to the dragon. Which is the first bit of damage you guys have seemed to have um, inflicted, specifically because um, because Sylvie's being a, being a dick. Okay, so now it is the next person's turn, um, which is Vicaroos. Vicaroos, um, well, you can keep running, but now there is a dragon in front of you. Um, so I see. Can I misty step the fuck away? Uh, I believe that is a bonus action. Then I think my best bet is to misty step the fuck away. <laughs> okay. All right, so you can teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space that you can see. Um, where? Where in the 30 feet? Literally anywhere but there. Presumably the far side of the dragon. Yeah, as far away as possible that's in the safe area. All right. Um... Well, you gotta give me a location, like in in the ravine behind the dragon, um, like away from the from the dragon to the right, to, on the other side of the ravine. This this is yeah, that, that sounds content. good. On the other okay, other side of the ravine sounds good. Okay, so you teleport, and um, and now you have uh, thirty feet of movement and an action. And Misty Step uh, and is then run. Misty Step's a second level spell, right? Yes. Uh, I think it was, it was a level one spell, right? No. Oh, I'm pretty it's, sure it's second level. No, it's it's second level. So that is your um, your last second level spell slot. So you. Oh, have... it was it was grease. Grease is yeah. grease that was level one. We had in the wrong spot. Never mind. Okay. Um, so now you are out of second level spell slots. Um, okay. hopefully it's worth it for you. <laughs> um, so you, 
So you proceed to misty step the fuck away. Are, are you now um proceeding to uh to continue running? Uh yeah, that's probably a pretty good idea. Okay. Well, the dragon immediately spots you as you run. Just okay. bullshit. Well, um, well, running makes noises. That's how I'm someone shooting at. Okay. Um, next up is Tylenol. Tylenol, you're you're stable, so you don't need to make a death saving throw. But, um. You can make a uh, constitution saving throw to um, to uh, pump some adrenaline into you to wake you up because um, because the power of love flows through you. Some of that DM magic there. Uh, adre an adrenaline saving throw or constitution? Make an adrenaline check. <laughs> Just roll a d20. Alright, give me this. Adrenaline check. 20. Roll the 20. 20. Alright. Um, your eyes shot open. Um, you see, uh, you see Myrtle kind of blowing on your, um, on your arm. Um. Um. Excuse me. And you are pumped full of adrenaline. What will you do, Tylenol? You hear everybody hears um hears uh amazing metal music as you um as you wake up. So let me actually grab a brush I, I and put a exact, little makeup. I know the exact song for this. <laughs> All right. Is this going to do a uh, copyright strike on me? Hope it doesn't. Uh, you don't have to play it. The title of the song alone should clue you in enough to uh the attack of the dead men. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um so, what will you do, Tylenol? Acetomenophene? Uh, so I wake up, I see, uh, what's his name? Myrtle. Myrtle. Yes. Wait a minute, the dragon, the dragon oh, landed in front. The dragon landed in front of Bikaru's, right? Yes. Which means that it's on the ground. Correct. Where the spiders can reach it. Aha. Yeah, the spiders can reach. However, Tylenol from this um, from this angle is right up against the rock wall. She cannot see the dragon. She does not know that the dragon is there. What was that that Vicarus likes to say? Bullshit. Bullshit. This shit. Yeah, that. <laughs> Presumably, though, she Presumably, though, she can hear the dragon. Right. Didn't you say it made a noise when Vicarus escaped from it? Yeah. You made um, a noise like... So, she like does... Know... <laughs> she okay. does know the dragon is there. Because she heard it, at least. Okay. Alright, yeah. We can, we can make that assumption, then. Yeah. You have made a. I'm made grasping a valid at straws argument. for you guys. <laughs> you have made a valid argument. However, Bruno, you're not there. So shut up. <laughs> stop yeah, I this. Know. Stop this right now. <laughs> shut up. You wasn't even. Shut up. You wasn't even there. <laughs> All right. So what are you, so what are you doing, Tylenol? I ask. Uh... Uh, uh, Myrtle, get me up to date on the situation. 
Um, he proceeds. I saved your life, Tylenol. Please. That is exactly. Please marry me. <laughs> that is what he says, except for the exactly last part. <laughs> no, <laughs> he does. No, <laughs> he's saying, "Oh, thank God." Uh, whoever Bruno's got it, L Lathy, Lathy, Lathy Dar, I think. I don't know some oh, no. some weird armor to get some weird you... armored Titan man. You're alive. I thought we'd lost you. Tyler, please help. <laughs> There's a dragon right there! It's above us! Okay. Just. Alright. I just reminded of that meme where it's like. How I imagine. Um, what's his name? Mithril is saying help. It's just Louis Armstrong in space. Help! Help! I am right. losing oxygen. I speak with animals and I'm like, alright, spiders. Go find the dragon, enter any orifice you can, and head for the heart. <laughs> You're gonna Ant-Man. You're gonna Ant-Man and Thanos the dragon. Yes. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yep. Alright. So the spiders proceed to, um, to crawl up, and, um... And start uh, crawling onto the dragon. Um, dragon, of course, doesn't notice because it's it's stupid. No, the dragon definitely no, notices. It should actually roll. It should probably roll to check. Um. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll make a. Uh, the, spiders the spiders are very tiny. tiny. I'll make a perception so check with with disadvantage. Notice. All right, so it is. Um. Alrighty. Well, she has a plus eleven in perception. Oof. No wait, a plus eight in perception. Um. So it's a seventeen. So yes, she does notice the um, the spiders proceeding to try crawling around, and um, okay. Do you end your turn, Tylenol? Yeah, might as well. Okay. So um, at the end of your turn, the uh, dragon uses a legendary action, and um, and and proceeds to spin around and swipe her tail. And, and, and um, not swipe her tail, but um, s swipe her wings at all at the ground, essentially to to uh, shake all the spiders off. And now she is flying. The spiders cast uh, the spiders cast clean or something. No, what? No, <laughs> spiders aren't spell casters. I yell at the spiders. Can I yell at the spiders outside of my turn? Um, I'm oh, no. gonna have to say no if you're specifically using, um, you, um, to, I mean, yes, you can talk, actually, yeah, you can talk outside of your, your turn, um, as long as it fits within the, uh, fits within the six seconds. So far, I believe, like, um, I decided to, uh, bribe the spiders. I'll use cast with animals on some flies. If you hang on. And the spiders, you know. The spiders do not hear you over the um, oh. over the sound of the no. wind. It here. Cause the wing attacks are um, winging. Anyways, um. Now it is, uh, Senorita Dragon's turn, and the dragon proceeds to um. Proceeds to start flying upwards, um, and then sees Vicaroos, um, running towards some, uh, some desolate woods on the other side of the ravine. Oh, shit. 
um, but also sees Mer sees Myrtle and um, sees Myrtle and Tylenol. And then looks at um and then looks to see uh what's his name? Uh Sylvie. Sylvie kind of um moving towards um towards Vicaroos. And then it proceeds to start diving down straight towards um Tylenol and uh and Myrtle. Myrtle instinctively um, jumps in front of in front of her, which instinctively causes um, Tylenol to freaking smack him across the head. And then both of you close your eyes, just waiting for your inf imminent demise. Make this poetic. It's just, it sucks that it has to happen to us. <laughs> So, um, moving on to where, um, to where, uh, Br to where Bruno and Taurus are, um, both of you catch your breath. You are, um, several hundred feet away by now. Um, a full minute has passed. Actually, a full five minutes have passed since you, um, since the dragon first popped out. You are, um, far beyond the, um, far beyond the stream, um, and you now have to start thinking to yourselves what what to do now that you're separated from the others and um and you have to wonder did um did Mur did Myrtle ever oh, I'm sorry did Murdoch ever manage to chip Tylenol out of the ice man are we down two two team members what about Sylvie we ne you never really kn knew what was going on with Sylvie oh well but Next time to, on Dragon Ball Z. But you can continue to cleric yourself around. And meanwhile, as well, back at um back at the town. <laughs> back at the town. <laughs> back at the town, um you s um we witness a um a desolate unfolding of um of some uh, of some soldiers, many many of which are chained orcs, fighting along, fighting alongside soldiers against normal townsfolk. The blonde-haired lady is f is fending them off relatively well, um, slashing and slashing away, as well as many other travelers, mostly just to defend themselves. However, many civilians are are dying in the process. But old Trisha starts wondering to herself what all that rumbling was about the previous few minutes. And she starts to uh, to fight back off. And she yells where Wanda's at. Where are you, Wanda? What happened? What's going on? Myrtle and Tylenol opened their eyes, and the dragon got sent flying in the opposite direction, not of its own accord, but where the dragon was just just the split second before, is now was now replaced by a short, brown-haired girl who looks very familiar. She had the stance of someone who just, of a superhero who had just punched, a, who had just punched a kaiju, and it was clear to you what happened then. Hey guys, what's up? Hello? I don't know. I don't recognize the voice. Oh, you you don't. Hey guys, what's up? Is this? Um, that is the, s the same girl who, um, was trying to, uh, get you to recruit him. But you you're not there right now, so you don't hear any of this. <laughs> I 
All right. Tylenol and Myrtle do witness this. And, um, and, uh, in, in Vicarus's point of view, um, he kind of sees the dragon, um, start running, sort of like, um, flying, diving, more or less, um, in, into the ravine. Get into the ravine, and then immediately, um, get sent flying to the left, <laughs> really far. And, um, where... Th- and um, from there as well, a bunch of water um, got sent really high up after the impact. Over the next four and a half minutes, somewhat, um, she begins duking it out with the dragon. It was quite the sight to behold. And she um, and she immediately ru- moves straight back to um. And after sending the dragon into into a uh, into a cave, she moves right back to where um to where Tylenol and Myrtle is, and saying, "Hi, sorry, I I didn't listen to you guys, but there was a bunch of rumbling, and I decided to move on and through here. Apologies. Where's where are the other guys?" Myrtle's kind of pissing his pants a little bit. He, um, he's, he's not really sure of what's to happen. All the spiders kind of just retreated back to, um, back to Tylenol's pants. Of, uh, and, uh, and Tylenol. I'm going, I'm going to assume that I, that I heard the commotion and so now I'm. It um, didn't sound like dragon killing, killing teammates. It sounded like something fighting dragon. So yeah, yeah. You cautiously you... approach to see what's going on. All right, I um I highly doubt Taurus um would be the type to uh, join you in on that, but um he he would probably catch his breath though. Um. So um. So the dragon immediately um immediately uh burrows out of the ground. Um it doesn't see the dragon doesn't see you, but you do see the dragon. Um now keep in mind you are several hundred feet away, like at least six hundred feet away. You have been running for a while. Um and the dragon is like right there. Less than a Less than fifty feet from your location, and the and the dragon burrows out of the ground, and it clearly looks damaged. It looks very, very harmed. And the dragon, and the dragon looks from where it seems to have been um, flown, flown across, and proceeds to fly. Mm, up into the air again. And you just saw all this. And so did Taurus, kind of. He was like, what? <laughs> Alright. So the girl watches as Tylenol um, uh, falls unconscious again from exhaustion. Uh, Myrtle well, is also kind of. If there's uncom- no, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna, what was that? I'm going to assume the dragon is retreat. I'm going to assume the dragon is retreated. So now I'm going to begin to treat uh, Evan all. Well, ty- well, well, you're you're still several hundred feet away from Tylenol. Keep in mind. Make to treat Tylenol. Okay. I'm going to head over there and start treating her. So. Okay. Um. So anyways, um, Tylenol is under exa- exhaustion, um, Myrtle, um, Myrtle's kind of crying a little bit, and he's saying, um, what happened? <laughs> and she said, and the girl says, uh, sorry, maybe I don't have the right to, maybe I don't have the right to, uh, 
to intervene here. But, hmm. Well, it does seem that you guys were in trouble. Although, I fail to see why. She looks at the dragon and says, That guy's premature. And she jumps up and and proceeds to deck the, the dragon right through into the head, into the water. And the dragon screams, No! Myrtle says, It can talk! And then the dragon. a dragon. And then the dragon immediately fires off a um a cold breath. This one time, really strong one, clearly under adrenaline, at at the girl, and she she immediately lights up. Literally, lights up, red, glowing red. And um, and the cold breath passes through her into flames as as this brilliant effect happens she proceeds to move downwards faster than the dragon could dive and and slams into it right through breaking many bones and the dragon falls over into the river clearly defeated The girl, the girl, um, jumps back out of the ravine and looks to see Bruno, um, running, running back. She says, hmm. And then, and then she looks at Myrtle and, and says, you guys might want to get out of there. I don't know. He's dead, by the way. She's dead, by the way. I think, I think that's a she. Is that a she? I don't know. Let me look at look, let me look at the genitals. And then she sees Bruno and says, "Never mind." And then she and then she runs off. Cut back to um. So cut to um, Bruno, back at where Taurus is, along with um, along with Tylenol, um. And, uh, and Myrtle, and he is essentially treating them. You guys doing your thing. Um, Vicarus. Yes. Yeah, Vicarus catches up. Sorry about having to run away. Yeah, Vicarus catches up with you. Clearly he has lost, um, he's lost track of, uh, of Sylvie, and he... And he finds you. Alright. Alrighty. You have to contemplate work, what just happened. Well, clearly, we've been do sex machina Are you really. Really? I mean, yeah, we have been. I've been planning, planning on um, sending her in before the thing even began. I wasn't going to send a dragon on you and I actually expect you to kill it. <laughs> that would be inhuman. Yeah. Um, Alright, so. Seems yeah. like a good time to stop. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Although next time I'd probably uh, do a bit of a a bit of a time skip ahead to where everybody's um everybody's kind of recovered if that's okay because Tylenol okay. is clearly um right. not going to be able to do much of anything yep okay all right to be continued Alrighty then all right